Thiago, I'm from Brazil, São Paulo, and this is my second assignment to Introduction to Music Production. I'm going to talk about how to create a project in Ardor Digital Audio Workstation. This is Jack Audio Server, a reliable software that implements mostly everything we might need. Let's first start with setup. Here we have buffer size defined as 128 for good recording without latency and sample rate of 48k, a little higher than CD quality. Latency is already calculated here for you. And finally the word length. You see it's a little higher than in classes, it's 32 bits. That's the default value for also driver and we will change that inside order in a moment. Ok, let's continue. In this connections window, you see capture and playback device. It's very useful. I will now start Ardor 3. Click create new session. Choose a meaningful name and location folder so you don't get lost in a sea of projects. You can also choose other options for more advanced users. And then click Open. This is Ardor Graphical Interface. You can see up here all important information related to the Jack Audio Server and your project. You can dynamically change the buffer size using Jack Latency menu. Since I'm about to record something, I'm gonna use a low buffer size to decrease latency. Now check your project Roberts. In Media tab, you will be able to choose the recording bit depth or word length to 24 bits as recommended during classes. And you can also set your file type. Now you are ready to start recording. Remember to check if your interface is communicating well with order. You can see this by adding a new track, mono if you're gonna record from a single mic, and see if order is receiving any signal. Remember to always name your new tracks. See this low blue level there? It's receiving signal from a mic. Mainly, if you're not still recording, you may want to stop this crackling noise. To do so, go to Jack Audio and disconnect your assistant's capture device from Ardor. Finally, after you have recorded, just to be complete, you can finally increase your buffer size. In this example, I have used some plugins. A good choice would be to set it to 1024 bits. To end this discussion, let's try a single experiment. Pay attention to the Jack Audio real time percentage when I use low and high buffer size. Thank you very much for your attention. I hope this might help someone using this fantastic DAW. I'm looking forward to see your next assignment.